M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. On AliExpress, you can buy a case with a touch screen for a Raspberry Pi 3 and 4 for about £15, which I think is an absolute bargain, absolute bargain. So normally you would have to upload lots of drivers to do this, but thanks to this station here, which is the website, it's called avoiderrors.com, there's a very easy way to do it. You literally just, if you look here on the left, copy these commands and I'll put them in the description of the video like this copy and then you paste them into the terminal so initially you would be connecting your Raspberry Pi via a HDMI cable to you know to your PC uh, and and uh, so then you could do these commands quite easily then and then you just open the terminal window and paste them in and then you can have a, a nice touch screen Raspberry Pi 3 or 4 mine's a 3B wireless with Bluetooth just like this, uh, completely controllable. I've got my mouse plugged in at the moment. You can plug in a keyboard, but the main thing is you've got the screen. You don't have to plug it into a PC. You can put it in your pocket. As long as you power it with about two amps, um, five volts, you're gonna be able to play around with your little portable PC. And for ham radio use, that's a, a great little gadget to have. Right, we're gonna try and copy the whole lot this time. It didn't work last time, so we've gone copy here. And then we've picked over and we've gone paste and we're going to go enter. And everything's flashing away. It says working. Reading package. You got it disconnected then. Well, I'm just watching his video. But it's definitely doing something. And then apparently when it gets to the end, it's right near the end now. 100% is it going to work it stopped at 99 done then what <laughs> what does he say to do at the end well he just disconnected it unless he powered it up himself ok well it's still going strong here don't forget his slow mind his slow process yeah. yeah, and by the way, it's M6LSJ that's in the background. We're doing this together. So what you're seeing is the VNC viewer connected to my Raspberry Pi 3B, and I purchased a 3.5 inch screen. That as soon as I plugged it in, the screen was white, and we're just watching it unpackage. Now we have to say a big thank you to um, AvoidErrors.com because all the commands are there. Um, we've watched his instructional video as well. It's still unpacking. Fingers crossed this is going to work. Right, it's still doing stuff. Still going strong. Yeah, because it's, uh, you just... it's still going. So we're getting to the end. The idea is that once we get to the end, it will just... The monitor on the PC that we're using at the moment to control everything will just stop working and the, the Raspberry Pi 3B that I'm using uh, will just, we'll just start to go, right, okay, you're now using me to display everything. Still, and if it does, it then I'll monitor. show you. Yeah, it's still running through the processes at the moment. Ah, great. Yeah, it's, it's getting there, about 90% now. Look at all these commands, it's fascinating, isn't it? This yeah. screen was only about 15 pound delivered. There's the screen purchase link there. You can get it with the case, you can get it with the um, just the screen. And uh, there's everything there, look, just to show you. And big thanks to avoiderrors.com. His link will be in the description as well. And if you want to revert it back to just using your HDMI, look what you do. You just go copy and you put these commands in and it will just carry on working as it was before you had the before you were using the screen, the, the you know, this 3.5 inch screen.